Hi friends, today we're here for another episode of Oh Shit with Art Resin. Today we're going to talk about the biggest bitch of all, bubbles. Bubbles happen for a whole host of reasons. Today I'm going to talk about the two most common reasons bubbles may crop up. First off, we're going to talk about organic wooden surfaces. Wood by nature breathes, so anytime you're going to cover something that's breathing, it's still going to want to release some air. In this situation, we've covered this beautiful piece of wood with a perfect coat of art resin. We've torched all the bubbles out from the initial pour. And remember, torching is your first line of defense against bubbles. And we came back the next day after a touch dry cure and we've discovered tiny little air bubbles that have cured into the resin. I'm going to tell you how to fix this problem. So you're going to want to take a piece of 80 grit sandpaper. We like to use 80 grit because resin likes to have some tooth to adhere to. You'll take your piece of sandpaper. You're actually going to want to sand the entire piece down because the rougher the surface, the better the adhesion of the next coat of resin. But then focus on the areas where the resin bubbles have cured. So we're going to do that and sand. Now when you sand your piece down, it's going to look gross and nasty and totally scuffed up. But once you add a second coat, it's going to be perfectly crystal clear. And then we're going to take a wet paper towel and wipe off all of the debris. This is an important step because you want to make sure that your surface is absolutely pristine before you add your second coat. And now we're going to talk about bubbles and paper-based products, more specifically photo paper. On occasion, there is a reaction between the photo paper, the resin, and adhesive. And tiny little micro bubbles, basically it's off-gassing, will form as the piece is curing. So to fix that problem, what you're going to do is, again, you're going to take a piece of 80 grit sandpaper and then you're going to sand the entire piece down. Try to get as close to the bubbles as you can in your piece. We're going to sand the whole thing down, take a wet paper towel, wipe off all of the debris, and then you're going to pour a carefully mixed and measured coat. So that's how you're going to alleviate all the bubbles that were there previously. In order to prevent this from happening again, you're going to take your photograph you're going to adhere it to your substrate and you're going to want to pre-seal it. We use a product called Glamour 2 for anything that is photo based. So then you're going to pour a carefully mixed and measured coat of art resin. And don't forget to torch every single time. So this same technique will apply to an organic wood surface. So basically you're going to use, you can use a polyurethane or you can use several thin coats of actually art resin. You want to pre-seal your piece. So then you're going to lock in all the air that's you know, settling underneath the wood. And then once that's perfectly dry, you can pour again a carefully mixed and measured coat of art resin. Of course, we're going to torch the bubbles out and you should have a perfectly crystal clear bubble free finish. So if you're ever in doubt, we always recommend to pre-seal all your surfaces, be it wood or any paper based surfaces. Pre-seal, pre-seal, pre-seal. It will greatly help to prevent little micro bubbles from forming when it's curing. Okay kids, that's it for today. Tune in next time till we tackle more problems that make you want to say, oh shit, with art resin. Bye. <laughs> Stay tuned for our next installment of our oh shit series to help you with all of your screw ups when using art resin.